Okay, I'm going to run through a quick update on just what the script is at now with uh, version 0 0.21.07. Um, most of the changes um, this release have been to sort of GUI functionality and that's where a lot of the changes have been. Um, plenty of more stuff under the hood to uh, you know make it run smoother or what have you or few little small fixes with games and actually a lot of a lot of gains were added a lot of a lot of different gains were added a lot more support now and um, but I might just show you in terms of features what's going on and um, so if you look at it this here there should be a, a few things different from the previous release so first up we have our, our hood settings there we didn't have that in the previous release down the bottom uh, we have our uh, sort of like a little help help thing here so it tells you what your your different buttons can do so because I'm playing as a buster and that's that's sort of the the layout for the game so it just helps you run through it uh, but let's have a look at HUD settings here so you see here um, most things displayed on the screen anyway um, you can sort of select so I'm just uh, using left and right and then as, as it says down here at the bottom you can press uh, A to select and then I can freely move it wherever I want on the screen and with the directional keys I think it usually sits about there and then I can press A again to drop them back in place. Um, I can also hide it with the B button. And you'll see there if you're mousing over something that's hidden, it will light up in blue. Um, so yeah, like um, there's a, for whatever reason you want to move things around the screen, like I know with the uh, scrolling input, uh, some people did actually want to move this, so that, that functionality is now available. Uh, and also you can hide it through this as well. Um, and then just C to exit. So because of that, I took out the uh, scrolling input uh, settings. Or the, the section in, in there for, you know, sort of hiding it. And um, still have these two guys in here so you can still change the, the, the size and what have you and um, there's the player settings as well so before we it didn't actually fully support every um, sort of permutation but now now it fully does so assuming the uh, memory support is there for the games you can just set these up for uh, all characters easy peasy and then if you want to you can also set um, uh, what what health it refills to this uh, this bar here so I can just go left and right there and change it as I want and then when it says I want it I can uh, press A or, or C to exit and oh yeah yeah, yeah more thing this guy here he was a bit bit junky in the past didn't like how he works so now it's uh, it's much better it's uh, you hold whichever direction you want you press a and it's, it's that simple so yeah um, you could tell us I was, I was moving this around makes more sense like right there yeah that's sort of um what the what this guy is at at the moment and um, besides that um that's kind of that's kind of it for features most of as i said most of the stuff that happened was behind the scenes like there was a few little areas that was causing the uh the game the uh, the script to lag games or whatever, but I've I've cleared most of those out now. I think you can see up here a nice consistent 
5960, that's where you want to be with your emulation. And uh, a load of games, like we're up to 74. Probably, I think we're a bit more, probably closer to 80. 80 games or something support at this point, so <laughs> a lot of games, but uh, that's sort of where we're at with this. Um, with this version, so uh, catch you again later.